crazy. Krinzu, hello, good sir. Hello, hello, hello. Um, tell everyone what you do on the internet. I know what you do. We've been we've been pals for a long time now. But yes, tell sir, everyone else what, what what the hell you do. All right. Well, I am uh, Krinzu. I am a comedic commentary variety streamer. So that means I play. Uh, video games poorly making wildly inappropriate jokes and trying to make people have a good time and laugh wonderful that's what i like to hear what have you been playing lately you've been doing the war zone you've been playing tarkov right yeah i've been doing a lot of escape from tarkov lately and uh war zone too since they have that new update oh yeah they that's got they got the new one you've been shooting kids and making them making them scream or whatever it's perfect oh voip voip is great with it's, little kids it's they wonderful scream. Uh, Krinzu, have you played Dungeons and Dragons before, my friend? Yes, sir. I sure have. How did that go for Remember you personally? I... Well, I, I always die, so. Okay, well, maybe you'll live today. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Are you ready for your adventure? Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Let me pull Let me pull you in the zone. Krinzu, your campaign today is called The Neighbor's Car. Your name is Brent Alexander, and you're 34 years old. Let me hit you with this. The sun hits your eyes ever so slightly through your bedroom window. You roll over and notice you slept in a little later than expected. But it's the weekend, and you've been working overtime at the electronics store, but only for old people who still need to fax things for some reason. You pet your adorable dog, Crocodile, and make some coffee. You stand in your living room in your weekend robes facing out towards the street, sipping the finest coffee. Nerds in tapioca pudding flavored coffee made from Dunkin'. You think about all the cool things you'll do this weekend. Maybe watch your favorite streamer, Mayor Wirtz. Maybe you'll watch his massive amount of content on his YouTube channel. Or maybe you'll carve his name into other people's cars so they subscribe. It's the weekend, baby. Anything is possible. As you take another sip, you hear a loud crunching sound outside. You look over to see that your neighbor Timmy has backed his car right into yours. And even from this distance, it looks bad. How do you proceed? Well, I'm going to just bust on out my front door, running straight towards Timmy. Okay, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for you to bust through, bust open your door. You got a 17. You bust, you bust open your door and break the locks on your front door, and you run and you and you run towards Timmy. That's gonna that's gonna be a couple bucks for replacement. Let's put it that way. You run, you run towards Timmy as fast as you can in your weekend robes. You're standing there in front of the two cars and Timmy, and. Uh, Timmy looks at you and goes, I don't know what happened, man. I didn't, I didn't know your car was there. Well, look, you little son of a bitch. You hit that car so hard it broke my front door. So we're going to have to get some compensation going. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for aggressiveness. You roll a nine. So he doesn't really believe that's how cars work when it comes to doors so he doesn't think that's actually a thing that's going to be compensated but he does think that you know that compensation will probably have to happen but he doesn't know what's going to happen he's uh, a little intimidated by you because of the way that you broke open that door though so uh he says well what do you mean compensation well i'm gonna get right in his face and i'm gonna put my hand on his chest and say well we're going to start off with the door. Let's see how he reacts to that. Okay. Uh, you roll another nine. And he says, You're, the, the front door is not attached to the car that I hit. Uh, <laughs> Brent, I'm sorry. I'm not paying for your door. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to up this up this up a little bit. I'm gonna okay. grab his shirt and drag him to that door. Okay, you're gonna grab you're gonna grab him by <laughs> grab Timmy <laughs> and just drag him. God damn, you got a 19. So you grab <laughs> you grab him by his you grab him by his collar and you put him down physically on the ground and you grab him and you drag him like a caveman over the concrete 
over over the grass, up on tie the uh, up into the concrete again to the front door. Uh, his back is all scraped, and he is now in pain, and he's starting to cry a little bit. Well, well, first of all, I'm gonna have to uh, spit on him a little bit. Okay. Men don't cry. Okay. Men don't cry. Okay. Uh, you spit on him, but you spit just like on his on on his shirt. And he's like, that's just gross. <laughs> that's just stop. Stop. That's gross. Look, Timmy, you know what's gross is you hitting my car and it breaking my door. And I want to shove his face towards my door to make, to make the point. Okay. Is you're going to like rub his nose in it like a dog? Mm hmm. Okay. Crocodile's going to be very happy about this. There we go. You're going to rub his nose into the door <laughs> like a. You got, you got a 17. Uh, you rub his face into the broken door and he starts to get splitters on his face and he starts screaming and he's like, Brett, stop, Brett, stop, please stop, please. I'll pay for whatever. I don't care. Just stop. Okay, good. I'm going to pat his face gently so that I don't leave any marks and say, see, now your face is splintered up. You did hit the door. Say it out loud. Okay, more, more intimidation. Uh, you rolled a five. So he is kind of in a shock that you dragged him all the way across the yard, rubbed his face in a broken nose, and he got splinters. And he's just not, he's just not talking. He's in, he's in total shock of what is going on right now because he didn't think a Saturday would ever evolve into this kind of, uh, this kind of nonsense for him. He is just in shock at this point. Good, good. Well, Timmy, now that we've established that you broke my door along with my car because of your car accident, you admitted it. I want to know what you're going to do to cover this. Okay. I'm going to roll for, I'm going to roll for Timmy. Uh, he, I mean, he rolled a 12. Uh, so he's going to be like, I'm going to work on paying you back. Duh. Like, obviously it's totally fine. Just don't, you don't need to hurt me anymore. As, as he's explaining that his, <laughs> uh, his wife, Gwen comes outside and sees there is a trail of blood from the concrete to the grass, to the door. And she just starts screaming. Like, what are you doing to my husband, Brent? Stop! What are you doing? Just describe Gwen to me. Okay, Gwen is a uh, mid-50s housewife. Uh, she's about 5'6", blonde hair. Uh, she's got, uh, like, blue jeans on and a rock and roll band t-shirt. We'll just call it Judas Priest. Uh, and cause she's been, she's been cleaning the house this morning and heard and heard all the commotion and the door breaking. And now she's freaking out in her yard, screaming at you. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to look at Gwen and say, well, you're soy boy of a husband here. Hit my car so hard. He got ejected into my door. I'm going to roll for this lie. <laughs> it's not a lie. But <laughs> didn't quite happen that way okay you rolled a 13 uh unbeknownst to you gwen uh used to work in the sciences um and she understands physics and motion <laughs> uh so she literally says hey brent i used to work in the sciences uh specifically in science and motion and that physically can't happen the car is over there uh so i know as a scientist as a, as a pre uh, previous scientist, that's impossible. So tell me what you want and just let let my husband go. Okay, well, I'm going to bend down close to uh, Timmy there and I'm going to whisper into his ear, you're going to make sure that your wife admits this too. And you're going to pay me everything or else I'm going to tell her boyfriend what you've done.
You rolled a 12. He says, her boyfriend? What are you talking about? She has a, my wife has a boyfriend? We'll talk about that later, Timmy. If. No, I want to talk you... about this now. I want to talk about my wife's boyfriend. What do you know, Brent? Okay. Well, as he, as he's taking him. as he's taking wood pieces out of his face because he put it in his face. He's just picking them out. He's like, I want to know about my wife's boyfriend, apparently. Okay, well, I'm going to slap him because he needs some sense knocked into him and tell him that he's obviously in shock and we'll discuss it later if, if he gets her to admit and they both pay for my car and door right now. Give me the money. He says, if my wife has a boyfriend... I don't care who the hell pays for it. I don't care about any of this. I don't care about my car. I don't care about you. I don't care about my wife. I don't care about anything. And he gets up and he brushes off the rest of the wood remnants. And he starts walking over to his house. Okay. Well, I'm obviously going to have to stop him. I'm going to look at Gwen and say... You either admit in a court of law right now that your husband hit my car and broke the door, or else I'm just going to let him keep going. All right, intimidation roll. That's right. You rolled a 14. Uh -oh. So she says, even though I'm a scientist and this physically can't happen, I think I would admit this, but... I need, I need something from you. What is it, baby? Uh, she you immediately says, ew, when you say that. <laughs> I'm not even going to roll. Wow. <laughs> she says, ew. Uh, she says, I want you to be friends. I want you to be friends with my husband. He needs, he needs a friend. He needs someone he needs a dad figure in his life he's never had a dad figure in his life he's never had a brother he's been he's an only child and i think that's why he's running into cars this is the fifth car he's run into this month i don't know what he's doing he needs guidance and i can't help him okay well apparently timmy's in more trouble than what we initially thought so i'm gonna grab him i'm gonna twist him and make him look at me in the eye okay say Look at, look at me in the eye, Timmy. What's going on? Okay, I'm going to roll. Timmy starts to cry in your arms as he says, I have a gambling problem, Brent. I've lost the, I've lost the mortgage on the house. I've lost our kids our kids college fund i've lost my pension i don't i don't know what to do and i'm i'm lashing out i think i'm running into cars as you do so you're broke is that what i'm hearing from you timmy you are broke i'm broke we're going to have to peek over at Gwen and say, well, it's on you then. How how am I going to get paid for this if uh, your husband there has uh, wasted away the college fund for the kids? Hmm? Hmm, Gwen? Hmm? Uh, she, looks, she looks around and says, I'm sorry, Timmy, but I guess we can work out a deal with my boyfriend Garrett after all and maybe he can help us pay for pay for some of this what do you what do you what do you say Timmy and what do you what do you say Brent we get we get my boyfriend well, involved well I've got a great idea I learned it from my favorite twitch streamer Mayor Wirtz I noticed you have a hot tub in the back of your uh, house I've got I've got webcams because I'm a little amateur streamer. 
we can make the money from this and everyone will be happy. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to roll for idea. <laughs> she says, "Sure, why not? Let's do it." You come over, you come over tomorrow and set up all the webcams. And then we can we can start the next day. How does that sound? Okay. But we still got to deal with this little soy boy you call a husband. And we're gonna have to take care of this. We don't so. know. We don't. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to take care of this. I think. I think he's a lost cause, and I think I'm gonna have to deal with him personally. How about you just come over tomorrow and set up the webcams? How about that? Okay. Wear something skimpy, but not too skimpy. Usually a uh, po- or uh, the polo shirt that's striped, and show a lot of uh, cleavage. If you have chest hair, shave it. Maybe not. But we got a deal. Perfect deal so the next day the next day you come over with all your streaming equipment you have you have your logitech c9 uh c922s you got you got your your dslr cameras you got your lights you got your lavaliers you're setting it all up in the hot tub and whatnot and um the the hot tub covers on and the wife comes out and she says all right let's let's do this open up the hot tub you open up the hot tub and you put over the first side and as you do that uh the wife and the boyfriend come over and they push you in the hot tub and they close it up as quickly as possible (laughs) they lock you in you are so lucky right. right now you almost died but I rolled a natural 20 for you, my friend. Yeah. So instead of instead of instead of running out of breath, you begin to punch like like that scene in Kill Bill where she's breaking the coffin over and over and over again. And you punch through the hot tub. And you get well, you punch through the, the lid of the hot tub. And you get out and they all vanish. And they leave just a stack of money on their kitchen table just for you. It covers the car and your mortgage for six months. And they're gone. Krinzu, you survived your no Dungeons, no Dragons experience. You came out on top. You survived the hot tub death machine. And you made a bunch of money, my friend. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, for part two, I'm going to have uh, Crocodile there sniff it. We're going to track him down. But that's for next time. Love yourself. 